baby. Lizzie and Canyon both have an ear infection in their left ear. Who's at the door? Maka is the thing. Keep watching tomorrow to see if Chad texts Danielle back. It is 6.37 and I don't have to go to school till 7 or I don't have to walk to the bus stop till 7. I'm making my lunch and putting my shoes on and all that stuff. Alright, I gotta go to school now so I'll see you guys later today. I just came down to make breakfast for the little kids and I do not have any idea what Danielle did this morning. She came in here and exploded something. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. She like is so not focused on details. She just gets in and gets done whatever she wants to do and she's out. This is what laundry looks like after you've been on vacation for two weeks. That suitcase right there is also full of laundry. So all of that, all of this, there's still laundry up in our bedrooms. It's gonna take a while. Hopefully I can finish it all before midnight. <laughs> it is 10.53 and I'm gonna go pick up ads from kindergarten, but Canyon is still asleep. He woke up at eight and I laid down with him and we went back to sleep. And he's been sleeping the whole time. His eyes are all yucky and boogery. Poor little guy is so sick. So how was it being back at school after being gone for so long? Good. Good, what did you do today? There's a lot of boring centers. You saw a boring thing? What's a boring thing? The boring thing. His math. Math is boring. Yeah. Well, it looks like you have a lot of work to do. Look how cute you are. I love that. You're the cutest little green guy ever. Hey, baby. Aw, baby. He looks so miserable. I know. It's 11.30 and Daddy you just woke hug? up. Can Daddy have a hug? <laughs> yes, Daddy gets a <laughs> hug, and then and then you're gonna go eat, okay? Poor eyes. Or ego. My little guy woke up, and he has green yucky coming out of his nose and out of his eyes, and so I need to get him in. Could he check my little girl's ears too? All right, Canyon and Lizzie both have appointments at 3:15 today. As has been down here building this Dory and Nemo puzzle. Want to see? After school I had a choir practice and I'm starving. I'm gonna make myself a tuna sandwich. So I couldn't open the can of tuna because everything is still in those boxes over there and so I tried opening it with a fork. Didn't really work out. But I remembered that I had a sandwich in my lunch box from my friend. Come on Lizzie, let's go, we gotta go to the doctor. Good boy. Lizzie and Canyon both have an ear infection in their left ear, and Canyon has pink eye. They don't really do anything for ear infections anymore unless they are getting them over and over and over again. So we're gonna get drops for the pink eye to help, and we're just gonna watch and make sure that the ear infections don't get worse. After our trip and the snow yesterday, our car really needed a good bath. This morning, we didn't have any milk or or any food. coconut milk or food. I cleaned out the fridge and it is like 80% I I empty. What the crap? <laughs> I'm having to eat. And so the grocery store has a new thing where you order it online, they get it all ready for you. You pull up and they put it in the car for you and there's your groceries. The only problem is we don't have time and we are <laughs> going to a party tonight. Okay. So. We're gonna hurry and run in, get Canyon's prescription and the stuff we need for the party tonight. And some milk and coconut milk so Canyon can go to bed tonight. Do you think this will last us till we can go to Costco tomorrow? Okay. You love that one? 
We're supposed to be leaving right now in the car to go to Lucia, but Canyon's prescription kept getting messed up and so they had to recall it in three different times. Luckily, we're friends with one of the doctors, so I was able to get a hold of people at the office. So I'm putting everyone in the car and then I have to drive up, pick up the prescription and go get everyone at home. All right, hopefully we have the right prescription now. You don't like drops? I know you don't like drops. Are you watching the Grinch? Do you feel better? Are your eyes happy now? They do look better, Gigo. I have a bunch of work to do and um, Canyon's sick. And so I decided to stay back with him while Sarah went to her mom's house to do the Lucia thing. I really feel bad because that's one of my favorite things about this time of year. One of my favorite traditions. Canyon's sick, so it's not a good idea. And I better get my work done. Um, but then I, I came in here because I'm hungry and there's nothing really to eat in here. I've got some pickles over here, Parmesan cheese, like some old leftovers. I guess I'm probably gonna have leftovers for, for dinner. The pantry has plenty of stuff in it to cook. I just, we haven't got our stuff put away yet. So I don't want to go digging through and get more pots and pans and stuff out. So I'm okay being sick. I don't like being sick, but I'm okay being sick. I am not cool when kids get sick because they hurt and they can't do anything about it and they can only sometimes tell you, huh? Does your ear feel better? Good, I think everything feels better because he's watching Mater right now. Who, who's on TV? I'm Joaquin and Mater. Joaquin and Mater, yeah. Yeah, we gotta let him just hang out and just be a little guy for a minute. Look at this mess, guys. All of this junk we have, there's just so much junk. We gotta get it put away one of these days, Gigo. We made it! We made it to Grammy's house! Let's go in and have some fun before we have to go home and go to bed. Gigo. Uh, I was gonna talk about tomorrow's court, but apparently Sammy's at the door. Who's at the door? Who's at the door? Meliki Maka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Whoa. That's the island greeting that we sing to you on a land where palm trees sway. that, Gigo? Is everyone else gone? Yeah. That's amazing. Thanks for the uh, Melikalikimaka. Yeah. See you later. See you guys. That is Chewbacca. That is Chewbacca song? The Melikalikimaka? It's the Hawaiian song. So did you know that tomorrow I have to go to court? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to court before? Neither have I. Actually, I've been to court once. I will be in court all day tomorrow, so I'm kind of stressing about it uh, more because I'm nervous about it because I have never actually been up on the witness stand, which is where I need to be. And there's going to be a jury there and everything else, and it's crazy. And uh, yeah, I'll have to tell you guys the story one day, um, one day soon about it. Hopefully, when it's over, I can tell you the story about it. But yeah, yeah. Does the beard need to be trimmed? Sarah keeps saying to keep growing yeah. the beard out. What do you think? Trim the beard, gig? No. Or keep it? Keep the beard? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> the food was so yummy. Thank you, Grammy. Oh, thanks to everybody. <laughs> Allie's got a whole tray of cheesy potatoes to last her the rest of the week, right? Say bye like a leaky maca. Chewbacca. <laughs> and what do you think you're doing? I just opened the butter dough. Why are you eating the butter, dude? We don't. No, we don't. I think it's a great idea to open the butter, but you have to have a reason to do it. You cook with butter, you put it in cookies, you put it in different things. You don't just eat the butter. And me just lick the butter. Yeah, <laughs> lick it off your fingers and that's all you can do. That's kind of our fault for leaving that on the edge of the counter for you. So this morning, when I came downstairs, it looked like a rice and steel cut oats bomb had exploded in the kitchen. What was that all about? Uh, I made a hot bag today and I kind of had it in one sock with 
this sock had too many holes in it, so I tried putting it in the other sock. So you exploded rice all over the kitchen and just left it there. I tried picking most of it up. Okay, let's go get in a night bed. Or you can text him. At least maybe you should say something about that you're not ignoring him, you just haven't had a phone or something like that. Okay. You like wake up and be like, you think, I think you're ignoring me? I got like seven billion texts from you last night. So instead of Danielle sitting here all night waiting for Chad to text her in the morning, we're gonna go to bed. Now that Danielle's got her two minute phone fix, two minute it's time fix. for me to have it back. Keep watching tomorrow to see if Chad texts Danielle back. Maybe Danielle will have a Christmas miracle and earn her phone back. Hopefully. You guys, no matter what other people say to you, no matter if, no you matter if your you cousin, <laughs> no matter if your parents <laughs> won't give you a phone, no matter if your cousin teases you, if people say you don't sing well, or maybe you say words differently than them, or maybe you have braces, or maybe you wear glasses. I don't know, maybe you're different than somebody else and someone bullies you about it. Don't listen to what they say. Don't worry about what other people think about you and just love yourself. Because always, 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 you, you are, are worth it. it. Good night, guys. Love